What is up? My name is Garrett at Yoker on Twitter, Y-O-O-G-R-T-T. -T. Thank you so much for tuning into the Now Notation YouTube channel. Welcome back to another album review. Today we are talking about uh, Blueface, uh, you know, the, the hit sensation from the past uh, year, if, if, if not maybe a little bit shorter, around 10 months. I feel like this guy has just gone from zero to 100 um, kind of ridiculously quickly. And uh, with the release of Famous Crip last summer in around, I believe it was like June, um, and then, you know, looking forward I believe there was like another thing called too cocky which released like last fall but more or less he's just been riding off of the success of like songs such as Tatiana uh, dead Lokes, um, and then you know you even have newer songs even one that's on this very album uh, with a uh, rich the kid daddy uh, you know that's definitely kind of taken a, a hold I feel like on, on on listeners I feel like that song's actually slowly but surely climbing its way to uh, being a bigger hit and uh, you know it's it, the whole trajectory of what Blueface has been able to do is just kind of a masterpiece in a lot of ways. Um, he went from probably selling out smaller shows to just having certain shows booked that just couldn't possibly hold down uh, the amount of people that actually wanted to see him. Like literally zero to 100 is a great way to describe how quick and, uh, you know, surely I feel like he just kind of took over to the scene and with an appearance on the XXL freshman cover this year, um, you know, I feel like we're definitely about to get to the point where we got to see where Blueface is going to take this. Where is it going to go? Um, what is the future of uh, this guy's career? What releases are going to keep coming? Uh, and I honestly just threw a big question mark. I've enjoyed most tracks, but I've never really been like too keen on like paying attention to what Blueface does in the future. Um, what I appreciate most about his character and uh, just him as a person is that he's been pretty vocal just about the fact that like he's here and understands that like maybe his music isn't gonna you know last forever and stand the test of time so like why not make the most money as you possibly fucking can uh just asap right away and i, I that like honesty and to say that like i just think is such a cool thing and uh, you know his personality is fun um and uh you know his one-liners everything like this guy has some of the coolest punchlines, just period. Um, and a lot of them would be corny, but when you really think about them, you're like, that is fucking genius. Like, wait a second. Like, that has like 14 different meanings all in one little short statement. And, uh, you know, you can say what you want about the man uh, as far as like rapping skills go, but uh, regardless, you can't deny that this guy is just a huge star. And uh, with this release, I think he definitely leaned into that. Let's look at the track listing real quick. Uh, you got track number one, Dirtbag. Track number two, Bust Down, featuring Offset. Track number three, Disrespectful. Track number four, Daddy, featuring Rich the Kid. Track number five is Bussin', featuring Lil Pump. Um, you got Stop Capping Remix with The Game. Uh, track number seven is Gang, featuring Mozzie. And uh, track number eight is Bleed It. Um, very short, very quick, very to the point. Um, and a lot of fucking features. Only the first and last song. And Disrespectful really are the only ones without any like other people on it with Offset, Rich the Kid, Lil Pump, The Game, and Mozzie all being on this. It's definitely like a collection of just like hard hitting tracks that are just kind of just I feel like they're just good examples like oh this is just another example of Blueface another example of Blueface but if you're looking for anything as far as like narrative or anything you're not gonna find this but what I have really enjoyed the most out of this album is just finding myself letting it flow letting it go and the, the way that it just continuously plays and just doesn't stop and I find myself starting with Dirtbag and ending it with Bleed It and not really questioning any of it and again coming from someone who really wasn't that keen on Blueface uh, just as as far as like really playing him a lot like I, I would love it in like a, a club scene or a fucking a party that I would go to or even just hanging out with some bros like or anybody like Blueface is cool but it was never me instigating like putting songs on and there's definitely a couple songs on here that I I have to just continuously add to the playlist and just keep going uh standout tracks for me definitely Dirtbag's fun as fuck uh Disrespectful I think is the best track on this thing period end of statement and uh you know I enjoy stop capping with a uh, uh, the game I actually really enjoy the games that uh, show up on this um, the game's been kind of doing a few features between this and the trippy red album so I've been kind of like really going back and listening to more of the game and it, it's just a good time and yeah, I love his voice um, and you know he's just an OG as fuck I, like everything that he says sound like it's just like written in stone somewhere it's just so fucking cool uh daddy's fun you know none of these songs are bad I, i'm not a big fan of like little pumps verse uh you know some of the features are like whatever even rich the kid's a little corny on this thing like he, he does this thing like lying about a condom i'm just like all right man like chill chill 
like it's all good like we get it you fuck but like it's just kind of corny uh and but that's rich the kid sometimes anyways like it's just you don't really know like it, he sounds like that kid at the lunch table with like a lisp and you just like let him talk because he just talks for a little bit too much and then you're just like okay bro like we understood what you were saying in the first two sentences everything else was just fucking additory like i don't know whatever and i just made up a word additory add it to your uh dictionary fuck um mozzie the gang um I, I don't know. That song is okay. I'm, I'm really a big fan of Mozzie, but whatever the blue face is doing on that thing, it just didn't work for me. I don't know. It just didn't happen. This is like, honestly, a very sweet, short to the point album. Um, and it just further, I think, shows what blue face is doing um, and kind of solidifies him to maybe I, I would have preferred like a bigger album. And I think on a marketing standpoint, a bigger album, like a, a full length debut album would have like I think added a little bit more and would have maybe like had a little bit more weight am amongst the, like the actual like staying power because I don't think this album is going to really like be talked about for much longer than this so it's like I, and even myself like as someone who's reviewing it like it's very like easy to just like summarize in four sentences how I feel about this because it's it's pretty like it's pretty empty as far as like any like solid meaty substance but that's all good and uh, I don't think he really needs to do that anyways and I don't really know if I would have cared if he did but I am interested nevertheless to see him put out like a debut album a full-length project uh, and you know I'm interested definitely uh, but what did you think of Blueface Dirtbag what do you want to see from Mr. Blueface um, going forward because uh, you know I'm excited like I said it's just it's it's kind of like it could go any way he could be like really he could switch it up at any point or he could just really just hone in on the craft and just make really fucking good music for the rest of time or uh you know it could just we will forget him by next year and either way i'm okay with all of it i'm all here for the ride it's i don't really have like a fucking horse in this race i'm just here for uh, uh eventual good albums and dirtbag i feel like was that so i do have that to uh hang my hat on and so does Blueface. Um, uh, but again what did you think of dirtbag ep um let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for all the support on this channel please share this with someone who does enjoy rap music not necessarily this video but if there is any video on this channel or just this channel please go send this link send it out tell them what's up and uh maybe they'll enjoy the time here uh watching some reviews reactions and uh soon a podcast definitely um Again, thank you so much. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Yogurt, Y-O-O-G-R-T-T, -T, now rotation as well. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Those two ads, at Yogurt, at now rotation. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. And you guys are super cool. Um, yeah, that is all, folks.